Oh, she may be weary Them young girls, they do get weary Wearing that same old shaggy dress Yeah, yeah But when she gets weary Try a little tenderness You know she's waiting Just anticipating For things that she'll never, 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 never possess yeah, yeah. But while she's there waiting And without them try A little tenderness It's not just sentimental, no, no, no. She has her grief and care, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the soft words, they all spoke so gentle, yeah. It makes it easier. To me, yeah. you won't regret it. No, no, young no, girls, they don't forget it. Love is their home, happiness, yeah. But it's all so Hi, <laughs> Vsauce, Michael here. Or it would be Jeepist, that's... I thought how this project started, I had a S10 Blazer and I found a forum on the internet called Desert Dimes, off-road racing S10s. I was in the middle of, no, I wasn't in the middle of anything. I was broke, I was in college, I lived with my parents. That leads us to this. This happened because I was watching those videos and I saw that they would put big, bulgy fenders on the front of the trucks. But they, on the back, it'd just be like a little bit. Like right here, where like this would still be the stock wheel arch. And that was, I was like, well, that you're not gonna get enough travel. I wanted to do that to that blazer that I drove, but it was a piece of shit. Like, it was just the worst. And then I just sort of sat on that idea for a long time. I wanted to, I decided that I wanted to do that with this. There's a company that makes fiberglass fenders for a XJ, but they're in San Diego. And it's hard to ship large items like that. If you, like, I don't own a business. I have nowhere where I can get it shipped to. They won't ship it to my house. And then I, I planned like a road trip to drive down there to get them and then that didn't pan out and then i just decided one day it. i'll just make them myself <laughs> go to princess auto or harbor freight i think is the equivalent if you live in the states get metal and start doing it and then i just started doing it and i made a prototype fender that was too angular and like, I have my experience with making like replacement panels just by hand. This bend right here was too angular and it didn't match. Like this is a 2000 Cherokee. So it's like the front end has been redesigned. So it's square, but it's round. 
is how I envision it. And then one day I was at work and we use two, I don't, it's like two inch aluminum pipe for everything. And I was looking at it and I went, yeah, if I just, if that, if the angle that that pipe is, was this, that would work out because then it wouldn't be square. So that's what you see in the opening sequence of this video is I just made a little jig and made six identical pieces. Two of them were the rear fenders, two of them were the doors, and two of them were the front fenders. You can open the door and then this is all like this, right? To make the door handle work, to make the door handle work, fit in there and then you just push it. It's just the worst. It's so hard and I can't, that's why this is still open because I need to be able to stick my hand in there. It's just hard, but it's cool. It's pretty sweet. And I thought just make it all in one piece. So the most you can do with the least amount of material. So this, it stops here just because that's how big the metal was. And I have to put the fuel filler on here still. But you can see on this side, I just did this. Like it's all very handmade. Very, very, very handmade. There is imperfections literally everywhere. I wanted it to be as good as possible when I started doing it, but then it's a Jeep. Um, but I want it to just be like a dual sport bike, like a motorcycle that can drive on road and off road. I want it to be off road. I want it to look dope. I'm not gonna drive it that much. I'm gonna probably put a supercharger or a turbo on it of some kind. I'm gonna put a full cage in it. It's gonna have a six and a half inch lift with like King coilovers and shit that come up through here. And just in case you're wondering, I know. I ate the dessert first. Oh well. This thing's dope. But I did them and they need to be replaced again. And I'm gonna just make it like a rock slider that's built in to the body. And I just cut it up so that I could put the winch on this and like the frame rails on these suck from the factory, like it'll just tear through. So I welded this triangle on it. But then for the rest of the way down the frame, I'm gonna do a iron rock unibody stiffeners. And that's the, like the suspension arms and stuff are gonna be iron rock as well. And build it. I've got LED tail lights and a whole box full of nonsense right there. It's like slip yoke eliminator and like gears and lights and all that nonsense. I'm doing this all in half of a garage And then I have this thing, which is another, a video for another time. And then I have that thing, which is a video for another time. And I have the YJ, which isn't here. I can turn the music off with my phone because we live in the future. <laughs> Look at that.